did, obviously, chocolate cream pie for dessert. <laughs> and we had um, Maestro Claudio from Perp City and his wife over, as well as Texas Patty and her husband. So um, it was a very fun time. We had lots of wine, tons and tons and tons of food. And I had a great time cooking it all and entertaining here. <laughs> that sounds like a great time. So you st are you still eating leftovers or are those all gone? They're pretty much all gone, yeah. <laughs> I sent some home with the guests and, you know, we we made so much food we were like, oh my God, there's only six of us, but we uh, didn't number on it, I will tell you. <laughs> That is hilarious. Okay, so you are look like the the perfect all American girl next door. Um, were you growing up? What kind of kid were you? Were you like Miss Popularity? Were you student council? Like all that different cheerleader? You you just look like the all American girl. Well, I was uh, voted teacher's pet in high school. <laughs> um, I was, I guess, um, I had the perception of being kind of you know, very pristine, and I actually had a friend who, for prom, he was um, grounded for something that he did, I don't know, and his parents said the only way that he could go to prom was if he went with somebody responsible, and they said that it could only be me, and so, of course, I had to, I wanted to go to prom with him because I wanted him to go, <laughs> they had no idea, nobody really had any idea that I was pretty, uh, devious and um a bit of a slut in high school <laughs> gotcha gotcha did you do any sports or anything like that um when i was in ninth and tenth grade i was a swimmer and a diver yeah. and uh then after that i didn't do any more sports but um i was in musicals and i competed in chorus competitions and went all the way to state um, for my choral <laughs> competition. And, yeah, so that kind of consumed it because I did a bunch of musicals and I was um, involved in the theater and things like that. Gotcha. Did you always see yourself being a performer, being on stage, being in front of people? Did, is that something that you always enjoyed? Always. I've always enjoyed being a performer. Um, yeah, like for the longest time when I was in middle school, I was just like, oh, that'd be so cool to go be on Broadway someday. Um, and then it came time to go to college, and um, I considered going for performing arts, and I sort of decided that I didn't want to live that life of being in New York City and um, being poor and going audition to audition, just trying to get gigs. And so I decided to go to college for something different. So um, I sort of understood that maybe the performing would be a hobby of mine instead of a career, mm -hmm. but um, many years later, I circled <laughs> back to the performing, which is pretty amazing gotcha gotcha uh, you i love i love your scenes you're very enthusiastic so i've got to ask you so when you decided to get into it how much nerves was there how much back and forth were you you know as far as getting into the adult industry where you did you do a lot of research did you talk to people in the industry how did you get started well actually um when i went to college for um molecular cellular biology and i was a research scientist for seven years and while i was a research scientist um my husband and I, we kind of uh, had a bit of an open marriage that we were somewhat swingers, but we'd invite other people into the bedroom. And okay. I was always really interested in erotic photography and um, things like that. So we actually set it up, so we started doing um, some erotic boudoir photography mm -hmm. and then um, kind of a little bit more. Um, I actually just released on my website, lisasweet.com, some okay. vintage photos from 2010 that we took um, <laughs> right when we got together that we put on like a voyeur web and red clouds and stuff like that so that was always really exciting to do those kind of things and I did it with just my husband and mm -hmm. um, occasionally a, another partner um, <laughs> but then uh, we started kind of meeting up with more people we went to fantasy fest and um, my pictures were taken and put all over the internet and uh, then people started asking me to do some modeling gigs, and I was starting to get paid for it. Sure. Um, so that was really cool. I was like, who, me? You want to pay me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the next thing you know, we had an opportunity to do actual video work for a clip store. And 
my husband and I talked about it for sure. a long time because you have to at that moment accept that the internet forever yeah. and you have to accept the responsibility that anything could happen your parents will find out Absolutely. you know everybody in your family your job you could risk your job and we decided that it was something that we were passionate about and we felt that it was the expression of doing that sort of thing was more important than the risk and Absolutely. we really wanted to do it so we decided to do it <laughs> and I was a little nervous when I did my first scene for Eclipse Studio and as soon as the camera turned on it was like I felt this like burning fire <laughs> inside of me like yeah. this is what I need to do and I just became obsessive with it at that point. That, that is awesome. So tell me a little bit how, how that works as far as um, do you in the industry, is it who you know, like do you have to have a lot of connections? Like when you, how do you even hear about auditions and stuff like that? Do people call you? Do you have an agent? Are you like, in, how, how does that all work? Um, well, you have an agent. Uh, okay. If you're interested in getting in the industry, the best thing is to find yourself an agent. Um, and you can Google all of the different agencies out there because they are the people with the connections. To do it on your own, just starting out cold, I, I tried to do that and it's pretty much impossible. Most people, if they don't know you and you're brand new and you haven't really done any work, they're pretty much not gonna book you unless you're with an agency. Um, it's a little high risk for them. So, um, and it's, it's best to live nearby, otherwise, you know, when I started I was in Atlanta and we were traveling back and forth all the time and it was costing a ton of money. Um, if you're if you're not around, people tend to not book you. So, yeah, it's a little hard. You need an agency, really. Um, and then they just put you on the website and start advertising that you're available, and mm -hmm. and you get bookings. And the more you work, the more people know you, and the more bookings you get. What are your favorite types of scenes to shoot? Like, um. My favorite type of scenes to shoot are the more hardcore ones, and most okay. of my fans will absolutely know this to be true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anything with lots of dick, um, <laughs> or really good dick. Uh, I really love double anal scenes. I love um, anything with double penetration, okay. gang bangs, anything really hardcore. I even love to work with kink, some of the BDSM type scenes. Yeah. They are really a physical challenge, and I love that. I love just like being in really uncomfortable situations and just like mentally pushing through, mentally persevering. And that is like something that, you know, it's like exercise. You're, yeah. It's painful and all of these things, but when you're done, you get this uh, adrenaline rush and endorphins. And so I really like that. And um, I also really love to do bisexual scenes and trans scenes as well. Um, yeah. Those are very hot for me. Sometimes some of my fans are like, oh, we don't like that. We don't like that you do that. And I'm like, well, I like to do it. <laughs> and so don't watch it. But you know, I keep doing them. And I'm actually, I've been getting a ton of bookings for bisexual scenes. That is awesome. Uh, so it's really, really hot. And sometimes I'm like, I can't believe I'm getting paid for this. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Do you, that's one, another question I want to ask you. Uh, do you, do you actually have orgasms on camera? Cause I know that there's lighting around and you, you guys have to change positions all the time and, and different angles. Can you actually get into it enough to enjoy it? Or is it more just like trying to be, uh, can you really? Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I can't force myself to work. Okay. Um, my scores are genuinely orgasmic. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I definitely orgasm during my scenes. Um, there's, these guys know what they're doing. They're professional. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult when you're in kind of awkward positions. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I do orgasm during scenes. Okay, so tell us about like your workout routine. Obviously, you're in great shape. Do you like hit the gym a lot? Is there certain food that you avoid? Um, what, what do you do to look to maintain looking the way that you look? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, um, sure. I'll start out by saying that for a big portion of my adult life, I was a little bit heavier set. I was um, 190 pounds when oh, wow. my husband and I decided to start working out. And we were calorie counting. We were using Fitbit and the app to watch our calories, and we were running every single day. We were making sure that we were always in the zone as far as exercising calories go. 
And um, it took me, I would say, probably 15 months to get from 190 to um, 125. Okay. Um, so it was pretty significant. Like, yeah. A, yeah, about 125. I actually did get all the way down to 119. And wow. that's when I really entered the mainstream industry. And I was pretty thin at the time. All last year, I look at my stuff, mm-hmm. and I thought I was actually a little bit too skinny. I was okay. running a lot, and I was watching my calories and being careful that I didn't eat really fatty food. Sure. Um, and then moving to L.A., I guess I started to relax a little bit on the food part because I am a foodie. I love food. Okay. And so now um, I wanted to focus a little bit more on bulking up my butt okay. and really kind of getting the abs and then not worrying about being too skinny because because I had lost so much weight um, I thought that my boobs were like a little loose looking okay. um, and then my skin was a little bit loose okay. too and I know that most people probably don't see that but I decided to really do a lot of squats so now I still run I don't run like seven miles like I used to okay. but I still run pretty regularly I also do these um, Kind of Legree method type Pilates, so uh-huh. it's really focused on bulking up the butt. It's like resistance type squats and lunges and uh, a lot of abdominal work. So um, my ass, last year at <laughs> this time, my hips were uh, 35 inches and now they're 42 inches. Wow. Well, you, you look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look amazing. So whatever you're doing is definitely working. All right. So yeah. <laughs> a few more questions and I'll let you get out of here. Okay, so um, in an average scene, or an average month or so, how many scenes do you do? Like, just, just do you just take scenes as you want? Like, or, or is it pretty, are you pretty steady working almost every day? Um, it, it really fluctuates month to month, but okay. um, I would say that uh, I probably get two to three scenes a week. Um, which is pretty good. Um, okay. I'm not sure that I could work every day, okay. like five days a week. That yeah. would be, you really need to rest up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because I do such hardcore stuff. Yeah. Three scenes a week is pretty much like, I mean, I could do more, but it's pretty exhausting. You have a big, big following on social media. You got a lot of fans. And uh, what's that like for you to go from being unknown and then all of a sudden people are just following your every move? And I'm sure you get do- dozens of DMs and emails and stuff like that. People are almost obsessed with you. Is that, is that almost creepy in a way? <laughs> um, no, I actually really like it. Um, I, it was funny. I was recently traveling and uh, somebody sitting next to me on the airplane looks at me and he says, you're really sweet, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's <laughs> cool like, that I'm getting recognized wow. in public and things like that. And it doesn't bother me. It doesn't creep me out. Um, I really like it. I like, I just like that um, sort of lifestyle, I guess, to live it. And it's very fun for me. That's got to be tough, like, for your husband. Um, you know, like, he's got, you got to be a very secure guy for, to have your wife yeah. get all that attention and people, like, have it. What's, what's he like? Is he, I just am curious. Is he a very laid-back, chill guy? Or does he enjoy you getting that attention? He really does. And, you know, when we first started in the industry and kind of always, it's always kind of been this way that he likes to watch me have sex with other people. He okay. likes to see people fawn over me. It's, um, it makes him feel really good. It's very sexy to him to see people come up and hit on me and want to have sex with me and um, me get turned on by other guys. Like, he's really into that. Um, we like to go to bars and sometimes fish around a little bit. And <laughs> it's a really big turn on for him. And I think the only thing that's hard on him um, is sometimes when we have a lot of events that we have to go to, sure. it kind of gets a little bit exhausting. And if... Um, Sometimes if I am really busy and on my social media a lot, it does kind of cut into our personal time a little bit. So I really try to make sure that evenings and weekends, for the most part, I devote to him and I and, you know, we try to spend as much time together as possible and really be present when we're around. But I love him. 
That's awesome. He's a lucky, lucky guy. Well, we end with the segment. Before you promote yourself, let us know everything you got going on. We have a quick segment called Rapid Fire, so I'm just going to shoot some things at you. Um, what is, what's been your favorite uh, sexual experience, on or off camera? What's been the like most intense, pleasurable thing that you've ever gone through? Um, I would say on camera, uh, the most intense thing was I did fucking machines for Tink.com, mm -hmm. and it was this machine that just fucked me <laughs> senseless. I was in tears, orgasmic, just wiped out. I've <laughs> never felt that much extreme pleasure at one time. And when I orgasm like that, my pussy clenches down really tight, and yeah. I actually almost, like, bent the robot <laughs> dildo. Wow. Yeah, so that. Um, and then personal life, oh, there's so many things. Like, this past week, we, we had two sessions where we invited another person into our bedroom, and they were both really extremely amazing. We fucked for hours, <laughs> both nights. And it just, uh, there's so many. You couldn't possibly ask me to pick one. <laughs> Ooh, that, is, that is great. Okay, you, you can pick any mainstream celebrity you want to have sex with, a one-night stand, man or woman. Who are you going to pick? Uh, who am I going to pick? You know, I was saying the other night um, that I really want to have sex with John Benjamin. Um, he voices Archer okay. and Bob from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> and not that he's uh, particularly attractive, but I would love for him to just have that voice. <laughs> 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 that would be so sweet. <laughs> That is hilarious. That is a very original one, definitely. Okay, you've gotten to travel, I'm sure, a lot. Um, so where's your, the very favorite place you've ever visited, like on a vacation or anything like that? Oh, my husband and I go to Key West all the time. We've probably been there 50, 60 times. Uh, we went for the first time in 2010, and we go multiple times a year. We've already got our next two trips planned, and that's where Fantasy Fest is. It's really just like a second home for us, and... We have a lot of really good friends down there that own some bars and businesses, and it's really just, we absolutely love it, and that's where we always go. All right. We've got to ask you, thongs, G-strings, or do you typically wear nothing on an average day? I like thongs. Um, G-strings okay. are a little too wedge-tastic, not as comfortable. <laughs> I like kind of a nice, thicker type of thong that, you know, spreads out the material a little bit more okay. <laughs> and, you know, can contain everything. <laughs> this one came from a viewer, actually. They want to know, in your, in your, when you do the scenes, do you use lube or do you naturally lubricate on your own and then you don't need lubrication? Um, it depends. A lot of times I do lubricate on my own, but sometimes when you're stopping and starting and yeah. there's a lot of friction and things going on, um, also, a lot of times we douche to clean out because um, some people don't like creaminess. I get very creamy. So okay. um, when you douche, sometimes it makes it a little bit drier. But um, it really just depends. And um, obviously for anal, we use lube. Except for one. I did one with James Dean for analyzed, and we did not use lube for anal because we didn't have any. And we just went with okay. <laughs> Use my um, vaginal juice <laughs> for uh, for the lube, and it was a really hot scene, actually. Yeah. I think it kind of, for the viewers, I think that that maybe adds to the yeah. um, amazingness of the scene, and it's already a pretty hardcore scene, and to know that we didn't use the lube, it takes it to another level. Absolutely, absolutely. So on your day off, you have no scene, nothing to shoot, nothing scheduled. What do you do to relax and unwind? Um, well, during the day, if I'm not shooting... Um, and I don't have appointments with nail care or everything else because this is um, pretty <laughs> high maintenance. <-ish. laughs> um, usually I'm uh, answering emails, I'm doing custom videos, I do a ton of custom videos. And um, I do Skype shows as well as um, I also do cams. I'm usually on stream eight. Uh, so when I'm not on set, I'm always trying to make money elsewhere. And, yeah, I've got a lot of really good um, followers that are pretty consistent and making a... Uh ordering custom videos for me. I usually do two or three a week. <laughs> there you go. Well, you got to promote yourself before you go. Let us know how we can find you on websites, social medias, like any current events or projects that you're doing right now that you want to promote. Let us all know about all that. 
Absolutely. So um, my website is LaceySweet.com. Um, I've been really adding a lot of cool content there, so check that out. Sure. Um, my premium Snapchat is pretty awesome because I film all of the stuff in my personal life that we do um, sure. and put it on there. And you can access that at SanCentro.com slash LaceySweet. My Twitter is L-I-S-E-Y underscore 2014. Sure. And my Instagram is L-I-S-E-Y 2014. Sounds good. Well, I'm a huge fan of yours. I will be watching you. Like I said, your clips today, I just got started researching those, and you do very, very amazing work. It's so believable and natural. Uh, so hopefully we're going to see a lot more of you in the future. We're big, big fans. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. What a great, great girl. Make sure you check her out. Check, <laughs> check us out as well. Uh, the great, great, uh, she's a great follow on social media and all of that. Uh, we got a lot of other good interviews coming your way. We got uh, Seller Rain, a whole bunch of other uh, top, top stars in the industry, and other fun interviews as well. So make sure you're going to be looking on the lookout for those. Go to my uh, YouTube channel, Jeff Richardson. Subscribe today. You're going to see a lot of great, great interviews on there. Um, also, you can go to my Twitter, is jrichardson402. We're on Instagram, Jeff Richardson. Go on there. I post the links of all the videos and all that stuff. So uh, become part of our movement. If you like what you see, tell a friend and become part of our family. We are out.